Hey guys, I just want to say before I start the video, um, shout out to Din Plays RBLX for my new profile picture for my Discord and my YouTube channel. Um, he is just amazing, so make sure you go check out his channel in the description below. Um, and yeah, that's all I wanted to say, and enjoy the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, Steptide, and I am back. Yes, it's me, Steptide. I'm back with another video, and you saw the title. You know why you clicked on this video, How to Rebirth Fast. That's what the video is called. And yeah, I'm going to show you my fastest strategy to rebirthing fast in this game. Uh, hopefully it helps you out. And um, yeah, let's get like straight into the video because, you know, why not? Alright, so how to rebirth fast. You want to know how to rebirth fast? Basically just break everything you see, but that's what you do all the time. It's not leveling up fast. Alright then. So I'm gonna show you like my fastest strategy. Since I'm already level 91, hopefully I get to level 100 in this video. I'm gonna start over here. This is like the best place to start. And uh, you wanna come over here and you wanna break the Shelly. So let's do that. Dead. But yeah, guys. Basically, what you wanna do is just break these. Go over here and break all the Shellys here. Not like the small ones. Not like that one over there or the other ones. Just get that Shelly. Get this huge Shell B. You want to get this Shelby and then, not Shel Shelly, you want to get that Shelly. And also, if you want, you can go and break these, not, not break, I meant kill. Imagine breaking the Banto. So yeah, you want to go kill these, like, you want to go kill these Mantos, I know it's sad. Rest in peace, but they get a pretty good amount of XP, so yeah, before we break Shelby, though, I'm going to break Sheldon. If you want to get up here, there's a good strategy, instead of, like, placing something, you just want to keep jumping and go forward, and then, yeah, so, like, go slow, so, like, if you jump, Shelby, please stay still. If you just go straight, you'll slowly go down, and then jump up, and then bam. I don't know, it's weird, but it's, it's better than just placing something. So, yeah, let's break Shelby, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Alright, there goes Shelby. Shelby's dead. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. Alright, but anyways, we just broke Shelby, and now after that, you wanna go and break these two things, which is the Shelly and the Wealthy God. Um, I also like the Wealthy God too, because he gives gold. So, like, you can cook it. As you can see, I have a crap ton of raw gold just from breaking that wealthy god with a crap ton of times. So, yeah. I, I, I just started using this strategy, by the way. And, like, using this strategy, I already got a uh, survivalist. Pretty quickly. I got it in, like, a day. I'm not even kidding. Unless, I think, like, I think, like less than 24 hours. Like, I'm, I'm, it's at least less than 16 hours. It didn't actually take me 16 hours because I got off after because I got bored of farming. Then I came back on and farmed all the way. But yeah, like, if you use a strategy man, I mean, jeez, you're gonna get a lot of XP. You wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god. Alright guys, this is like the part two part of like this rebirth stuff, so that's like part one over there. This is the next step. Step two, not part two. Step two. I'm gonna come over here and break these animals. I keep saying break. I'm sorry. I'm gonna kill these animals. Bantos, bantes, mini bantos. Yeah, once you know, once you know with all that over there, I'm gonna come over here and kill these mammoths because they give. Surprisingly, they give a lot of XP. Well, not really surprising, but I mean they give XP, so why not? Alright, guys. So we just killed all those mammoths over there. Um, I don't know if the giant gives you XP. It might give you quite a bit, actually. But I've never, tr I've never like paid attention to how many XP it gives. Heck, I've never even tried to kill him in a long time. So, yeah, if you want to go try to kill him, I don't know how much XP he gives. I don't know if he even gives XP. But if you really want to go test it out, see if he gives XP. Tell me in the comments below. But yeah, once he goes kill those mammoths, you want to come over here. And this, yeah, you probably already know what I'm about to do right now. Uh. We're gonna break the ancient tree, and this, I know, this is painful to do, especially since you don't, most of you don't even have a god axe, which isn't a bad thing, but it just, if you have a god axe, that's good, because it's, this is gonna take a while, even with the god axe, so, uh, 
yeah. Yeah, guys, after you get to here, uh, this is what I would recommend. Go around and break these, these trees. And the breaking the trees already give you quite a bit of XP, but they give essence as well. And also two logs. So if you're a BVP and you like logs, play some logs because I want to pick those up too. But yeah, these trees give a crap ton of XP, so make sure you go break these. Alright guys, once you break everything, well, most of the trees, but yeah, you can break the spirit key if you want, again, doesn't matter. But yeah, now we're level 99, so by breaking this, we're gonna get to level 100. Alright guys, I went AFK for a bit, but it turns out the tree broke, so yeah. Yeah, once the tree broke, just collect the essence. That's OP. And this is gonna let me out to a level 100, which is awesome. Alright guys, so once you get the ancient tree, this is the part three. This is step three. This is the step three of the reversing thing. So once you break the ancient tree and get the ice island done, you wanna come over here to this little island. And once you do that, you want to break these trees again and get the XP from them. Uh, because, you know, they're OP and stuff. I don't even know why I'm collecting the XP, even though I don't need to. Yeah. Yeah, okay, guys, go around the island, break those trees over there. And break these two shellies. Because these shellies, for some reason, they give a lot of XP. Yeah. We're going to break the old god. So let's do that. There we go. Old god is gone. Alright, like, guys, once you break the wealthy god, this is like one of the last parts you need to do. Uh, you can break these gold things. They give a pretty good amount of XP as well. Uh, ooh, blood fruit. But yeah, guys, that's kind of it for this video. Uh, that's literally my rebirthing strategy. It helped me to get Mojo and also get the God Hut, which I didn't have before, but I also rebirthed again. I also got the God Hut guy with this strategy too. I don't know if I should make a video about it or like make a trolling video or something like that, but if you guys want me to, uh, I mean, I'll think about it. I'll think about making the video, I don't know, I might, I might, I might not, but yeah guys, that's kind of it for this vid, uh, hopefully this helps you out, again, this helped me so much, so, if you guys want to rebirth fast, make sure you just use this strategy, tell me how, tell me what you think about it, and yeah, that's kind of it, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, uh, so make sure you subscribe and like for more videos and stuff like that, I'll see you guys later, and uh, yeah. Goodbye.